Jacinta Allen naked on a fashion catwalk. The Herald Sun drawing on the folktale of the Emperor's new clothes to highlight the Premier being exposed by the Commonwealth Games cancellation. It's 2023. I think it's pretty reasonable to expect, very reasonable to expect, that women can be depicted without using sexualised imagery. The Mark Knight caricature has been labelled misogynistic and sexist. The cartoon is demeaning of women. But its illustrator says it's simply a political analogy. I'm a big supporter of women's movement. I think it's fantastic. I basically work with women all day. This cartoon is, is it's not just, it's not sexualisation. It is, uh, it's a political comment. Jacinta Allen says she doesn't recall any male MPs being depicted in the same way. All women deserve to be able to open the paper, look at images uh, that, are, that are there for public consumption and not see sexualised imagery being used to represent them. Both sides of politics have called out the behaviour. I think it's disappointing to see women depicted um, in this way and, as I've said, I do believe it's in poor taste. Is inappropriate, disrespectful and demeaning. In 2023, to be going through that sexualised imagery, uh, that misogynistic type uh, betrayal, is just not on. Steve Brack says he was Premier for almost eight years and not once was he subjected to the awful sexualised treatment Premier Jacinta Allen has received in less than a month. Gender equality advocates have drawn comparisons to the way former Prime Minister Julia Gillard was treated. When I saw the cartoon, I thought, here we go again. What else has changed? He generally thinks that drawing a man naked and drawing a woman naked are the same thing. They actually aren't. It's not the first time Mark Knight's come under fire. He was accused of sexism and racism for depicting Serena Williams throwing a tantrum in 2018. The cartoon has provoked anger among women as yet another example of the hurdles they face to pursue a career in politics. Jacinta Allen says she hopes this doesn't discourage women in any profession from taking on a leadership role. Bridget Rollison, ABC News.